Okay, so this is a three-year-old Honeycrisp apple tree. We're training to a modified central leader system. You can see I have our scaffolding here. One, two, three, and four, five. We're going to have our central leader come up, probably choose this one instead of this one here. We want to get rid of any diseased wood, any um, dead wood, any branches that are facing down that would be shaded by our scaffolding, any branches that are facing in. Um, we also want to know what we're looking for when we're cutting. Um, apples, at least the Honeycrisp apple, will grow on spurs. Spurs are going to be clumps of uh, blossoms that look some like, like this, 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 um, usually on a little bit older wood. So what we were going to do is try to maintain our scaffolding branches and then prepare our tree so that when it has those spurs, it'll be in the right shape. This I'll probably space out a little bit later to come out here. I want to head this back to an outward facing bud, encourage lateral growth. Same with here, probably there. there um there there um there that's kind of growing up straight i don't know if i like that very much but maybe once when i spread this out it'll help that grow um, those look like they would be apple spurs. Let's go ahead and try to head it that direction. Okay. Keep that. And up here, what we'll want to do with this one is once it gets to about seven to eight feet, we'll top it off again. That'll encourage some lateral branching for a second layer or a second scaffold. And so I likely want to come up to just where I can reach and top it off so this is the pruning of our honey crisp apple tree